Let's take a live look from the Five Hundred Side Storm Tracker with Annie Crawl. And Annie, how's it been during this evening rush? Well, and we've been on the roads all day. I know we started over a little bit farther west. We were over in Wentzville, and then, of course, we moved our way over to St. Charles, and now we are all the way over here east in St. Louis County. And I want to show you what I'm seeing on the roads right now because folks are getting all the way home. It's starting to snow a little bit less. I can just see the snowflakes have gotten just a hair smaller. In fact, over in Wentzville, they were much bigger. But right now, a little bit after 6 o'clock, it's going to be a little bit hard to see right now. But, of course, it's darker. And I want to give you a little bit of updates because we were talking to snowplow drivers earlier today, not only just in St. Louis County, but over in St. Charles County. And I want to talk about the St. Louis County folks first. When they have to do their snowplows, they have 112 snowplows in St. Louis County that are out and they're plowing these roads to try and keep everyone safe. But then those snowplows, they're not going to be able to get used 100% today. They're going to be actually trying to keep these drivers safe. And one of the biggest things when we're talking about that safety with drivers is how crucial it is to be safe on the roads and most importantly be prepared make sure that your car has a full tank of gas i just gassed mine up on my way here but that also you've got some essentials in your car make sure you've got a blanket make sure you've got some first aid and emergency supplies and if you for some reason need to be on the roads um, traveling into or through areas of bad weather make sure you've got some essentials bottles of water medications and other things that you might need now, absolutely. And like I was saying, we are still in St. Louis County and the American Red Cross is talking about how important it is to make sure that you are prepared. Let's look at the roads right now. It's going to be just a little bit slow. Things are moving, which is good. It probably isn't as bad as a lot of folks were expecting. When I was over in St. Charles County, they were talking about the fact that they are still in the need of drivers. St. Louis County, where we are right now, also still in the need for drivers. So if you are interested in being a snowplow driver, that still is an opportunity. But these roads are looking pretty darn good right now. I'm not I'm I'm not too worried about it, but of course they are slick. The snow is still out and about, so you have to be very conscientious when you are driving home or if you're trying to make plans, it might be better to maybe reschedule. So that's the thing that we want to make sure that we keep in mind while it is the winter weather. Reporting live in St. Louis County, Annie Crawl, five on your side. Annie, thank you. Let's get to Paul Cook, our traffic expert from our Today in St. Louis team tonight, watching traffic all over the by state. Paul. Yeah, so great to be with you. And uh, well, this picture here, actually four different cameras tell the story here along the top. We are on 70 where the storm was coming in more and you can see visibility not great. And then look at 141 here, the left side of your screen, the lower left, you're going to see near Maryville University. We definitely are going to have some visibility issues. You just want to be careful if you're leaving in the next 20 minutes, you should be OK, but maybe expect someone coming home there to be just a little bit late. Overall, though, the community is very much improved on a traffic map. You're looking for red. You're looking for orange, sometimes yellow. Green is good. Really, it's just about the yellow, slower than 40 miles an hour out there. You should be okay. We'll keep an eye on it with more traffic coming. A reminder, you can catch our forecasts and newscasts on your schedule on the 5 Plus app. Download it for free on Roku, Fire TV, or Apple TV. Just search KSDK in the App Store.